2021 Jaguar F-Type Convertible The Jaguar F-Type Convertible is one of the most underrated sports cars out there, and while it does come across as an aggressive performance car based on its appearance, it's actually superbly well-mannered. Aside from its newly striking exterior courtesy of a facelift, Jaguar gives us the choice between two engines, one being a punchy 2.0-liter engine that will catch the eye of those that want the luxury but don't need the brutal power. A V6 powertrain is reserved for those who want both poise and power, and the lineup is cleverly designed to appeal to very different people. The sports car is agile and feels right at home on a mountain pass, going up against the likes of the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray C8 Convertible and the Porsche 718 Boxster. Twenty twenty one Audi R8. It is hard to believe that the Audi R8 has been around since two thousand six. But now in its second generation, the 2021 Audi R8 Spider has proven to be one of the most accessible and capable sports cars around. The German machine easily competes with established manufacturers such as Ferrari and McLaren, not just for visual drama, but for auditory effect, too, giving it a reason to lay claim to the title of being a true supercar. The R8 Spider offers all of the hardtop car's dynamic capability but drops the top, and that magnificent V10 makes all of its 602 horsepower, in performance guys, heard. The R8 might not be as dynamically capable as competitors such as the McLaren 570S Spider, but it's comfortable, boasts an excellent infotainment system, and can be used as a daily driver. Twenty twenty Ferrari Portofino. Not everyone who wants a Ferrari plans to spend all day out on the track. For a specific clientele with a deep appreciation for the mark but who desire something a bit less uncompromising, there is the Ferrari Portofino Grand Tourer. With 2 plus 2 seating, a retractable hardtop, a front mid engine layout, and looks to die for, it's a Ferrari that you can use every day. Fortunately, it's not all soft because under the hood lies a 3.9-liter twin-turbocharged V8 producing 592 horsepower, enough to send the graceful Portofino from 0 to 62 miles per hour in a much less genteel 3.5 seconds. While softer than a 488, the Portofino is still a rewarding driving machine but is also comfortable enough when you're taking it easy. Twenty twenty Alfa Romeo Four C. There's something about Italian sports cars that grips the imagination of even the most humble of car fans, and for well over a century, Alfa Romeo has been building some of the best. From the 1966 Alfa Romeo 1600 Duetto Spider to the 1970s Montreal, Alfa Romeo has built some of the finest looking cars the world has ever seen. So why stop now? The 2024 C Spider is a continuation of Alfa Romeo's long legacy of building beautiful cars that also drive well, and boy does this thing go. From its carbon fiber monocoque shell to its stripped out interior, the 4 C Spider has clearly been designed to drive fast, and with only 237 horsepower, it relies on its light curb weight to punch well above its weight division. Going up against well-established competitors such as the brilliant Porsche 718 Boxster is never going to be easy, but with this much soul, the 4C might just stand a chance. 2021 Aston Martin DBS Enter the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera Volante, the convertible version of the company's flagship Grand Tourer. There is no outsourced V8 to be found here. Just a twin turbocharged, hand-built V12 throwing 715 horses at the rear wheels. The Aston Martin DBS Superleggera Volante arrived on the market last year without much direct competition, but at this price range, 
it's all about how the car makes you feel. In the case of the DBS, the feeling is quite spectacular. Having only arrived in the second half of 2019, the still fresh DBS Superleggera Volante continues into 2021 largely unchanged. However, newly available leather upholstery choices, along with different wheel designs, are now available. Twenty twenty one McLaren five seventy S. The supercar war has been heating up in recent years, with big names such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Porsche all producing some of their best work to date. Luckily, British stalwarts McLaren have also been producing some amazing vehicles, and the 570S Spider is most certainly one of them. It might be the baby amongst the McLaren family, but it still offers blistering performance and looks to die for. Under the engine cover lies a twin turbocharged V8 engine producing 562 horsepower, which it sends to the rear wheels in a blaze of glory. The carbon monocell body construction means that losing the top doesn't have any notable effects on performance, and with the top down, the 570S Spider feels even faster than it is. Another job well done from Supercar Masters McLaren. Twenty twenty one Mercedes Benz AMG GT. Perhaps the best thing about the Mercedes AMG GT Roadster is that Mercedes hasn't tried to build a Porsche 911 replica. Rather than try to match the deftness and astounding agility of the 911, AMG has cooked up its own recipe of what a halo roofless sports car should be. Blending sensational style with an atmospheric V8 and a luxurious interior, this car is the ultimate ego booster. This year, the base twin-turbo V8 is even more potent at 523 horsepower, while the GTC still produces 550 horsepower, and we'll see the Brute complete the 0-60 sprint in well under 4 seconds. That's not as quick as its German rivals, but the GT sure isn't short on theater. You'll need to contend with a stiff suspension and a cabin that feels especially cramped with the roof up, but otherwise, this is a high-end drop top that does not disappoint. Twenty twenty one Aston Martin DB eleven. How does one improve on the impossible beauty of the Aston Martin DB eleven? Simple, just drop the top. Enter the DB eleven Volante, the convertible version of Aston's DB eleven, the British Mark's replacement for the DB nine. Unlike the coupe, the Volante is only available with a V eight engine, not a V twelve. It's good for 503 horsepower thanks to twin turbocharging, though, which is enough to see the Volante reach 62 miles per hour in just 4.1 seconds on its way to a top speed of 187 miles per hour. Compared with its direct predecessor, the DB9 Volante, the new drop top is both lighter and stiffer, improving its handling. At over $200,000, it competes with the likes of the Ferrari Portofino and the Bentley Continental GT Convertible. Twenty twenty one Aston Martin Vantage. The two thousand six Vantage was everything an Aston Martin should be, except fast. It hit all the marks, but it lacked the punch needed to go up against the beloved Porsche nine eleven but removing the roof actually improved the 2006 Vantage. If you've been fortunate enough to drive one of the original cars, you'll know that it makes a glorious racket that can literally be heard from 2 to 3 miles away. This added some much-needed pantomime to a package lacking the X-Factor. Sure, a 911 Cabriolet was faster. But V8 Vantage owners didn't care, mainly because they couldn't hear the negative remarks over the V8 racket. The new Vantage is a different kind of animal. It's equipped with a 503 horsepower twin turbo V8 powerful enough to get it to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. It doesn't need the drop top charade to justify its existence, yet here we are. Lamborghini Huracan Evo Spider. 
Following on from the reveal of the Huracan Evo Coupe, the drop-top Spider is here to add open-air thrills to one of the most exhilarating supercars on the road. Power comes from the same 5.2-liter V10 found in the Huracan Performante that produces 631 horsepower. The 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint passes by in a 3.1 second blur, just 0.2 seconds off the pace of the coupe, in the case of the AWD model. The complex Lamborghini integrated vehicle dynamics, LDVI, system expertly coordinates the car's dynamics based on parameters like driving mode and the conditions. Not only is it a spectacular driving machine, but the Evo's dramatic styling and eye-popping color options make every drive an event to remember.